All right, I'm back here with my boy Supreme New. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, what's going on? Seems like the last couple mm-hmm. days have been hot. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Seen uh, all the feedback you got on these last couple videos. What's your opinion on that? Man, these niggas crying. It's my opinion about this shit. These niggas is crying. And they ain't even doing music. You know, uh, so thing about the whole thing was to uh motivate people, you understand? And shit like that though. And tell the truth at the same time though, you know what I'm saying? But my thing is this though, you know, you had your boy DG want to challenge money. You know what I'm saying? Wanna go outside the music. We talking music. You know what I'm saying? Niggas got so sensitive. Niggas start going outside the music and all that. Talking about how much money, how much money they made and all this and that. You know, we talking music. You don't know what's in a man's pocket. You all off in another man's pocket. You don't know what no man made or nothing. You know what I'm saying? But talking music, though, I still challenge any, 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 anybody, you know, in my naked woods as far as making money off the music. You understand what I'm saying? Um, people was people were saying names that they were saying I should have named, but I don't know these people though. Why I don't know these people? Why I don't know these because they ain't doing music. You know, my whole thing is to motivate. You know what I'm saying? I motivate. I ain't looking for no trouble or nothing like that, man. And I damn sure I ain't ducking it. You know what I'm saying? And then it was a lot of people talking about, you know, you know, names that I should name and didn't name and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Which I couldn't mention everybody. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it, it, it is a lot of whack motherfuckers that I laugh out. You know what I'm saying? And it is a lot of cold motherfuckers that I laugh out, though. You know what I'm saying? Talking like the Bread Brothers and shit like that. You understand what I'm talking about? Them niggas go hard. I wish them niggas would have came through with a lot of shit. You understand? Like that. But, uh, you know... It's a lot of little shit that I motherfucking uh was trying to was trying to put into this shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when we talking about the whoopers, you know what I'm saying? Whoopers, the whoopers. You know what I'm saying? I get shout out to the whoopers too, though. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing them boys had. They had they had unity. Them boys stuck together. Had their little orange hair and all that shit, doing their little thing and shit. But when it comes from this music shit, them niggas was whack to me. Them niggas was whack as hell. And I'm gonna say that shit again. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas was whack. Then them motherfuckers with the music shit. They had some some few cold. They had a couple of cold little tracks here and there, there and there. Them niggas was whack to me. Them niggas want to fuck with the unsolved mysteries. I give a fuck what they talking about. You understand? Uh, our big challenge was Jack Black. Jack Black. They were doing their thing. Them niggas had lighters, t-shirts, and shit before we even knew about that shit. And them niggas had locally signed artists. You know what I'm saying? The shit was crazy. So that was our big challenge, though. And then you had then you had the Cheddar Boys, you know what I'm saying? You know, then we got our crew started the Squitter Boys and all that. That shit was real. Then we have our man Shorty. You understand? We all, we, we was all, shit was getting real. It started turning to a 517313 thing. You understand? That's what that shit had started turning into. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we want to start a coalition. We want to put more of them, all of them into it. Stuff like shit like that. She was, she was starting to get real. It seems like you've been going for so long on this certain style that you have that is more lean towards back from the 90s and the early 2000s. Like, how far do you think that will take you? My 90s music is my 90s music. You understand? My style is my style. You understand what I'm saying? So, i just been releasing all this 90s music and all this to set my foundation. And keep me and keep my voice relevant, cause I feel like we relevant, and that's this is what it is. You understand? Cause I'm like I say, this is what a, a music mogul does. You understand what I'm saying? Now I think everyone is asking and wants to know, when are we gonna get some new shit? Not the old Supreme new. What's, when's this new shit gonna drop? Like when are you gonna cater to your new fans and the younger generation that listens to your stuff? Because we're not in the 90s anymore. I just, I haven't released shit yet. It's called being a business and how to, you know what I'm saying? This shit is planned. This shit is, this shit is strategized. You know what I'm saying? Shit, some of us can't say though. You know what I'm saying? Some of us talk that shit. I swear, some of us talk that shit. They doing music and shit. Don't know the shit about publishing. Don't know, shit. Don't, don't know shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Talking this shit, man. You understand? Seems like you might have struck a nerve though. 
you got all these people in your comments, you know, whether they're with you or against you, and I'm sure they're hitting your DMs too. What do you got to say to them to motivate them to drop some shit too? Like, could this reboot everything that ever was? Or what's your opinion on that? You can't be talking that shit and you ain't dropping shit. You know what I'm saying? All this, you about to do this and you're doing this and you getting shit ready. Like you say, we, we, we in our 40s. We're in our, you know what I'm saying? We in our 40s, bro. Pushing the 50s and shit. I'm satisfied where I'm at with this shit. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing this shit. I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? I ain't one of them motherfuckers that's 40 year old still trying to rap. Like, motherfuckers be trying to make me making their comments and all that shit. You know, I be seeing all that shit. Nigga still 40 years old, 50 years old, still trying to rap and all that. I'm an artist. Also, music mogul. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, shit. I, man, listen. Consistence is what I got to say to the, to, to the brothers that's that's doing their thing, that's coming off into this shit. You know what I'm saying? You gotta keep shit consistent, man. Keep that shit rolling, man. You can't be sitting out here playing with this shit, playing around with this shit. You know what I'm saying? You gotta know the business and know the game about this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, point blank, period. 